here we are within the kitchen. All of you chefs, guys, I love talking about it. Right now you can see I've been wonderfully illuminated from above me because there is this massive skylight. But maybe you're sitting here and you're hot. You don't wanna sweat while you're whipping up a mean meal. Click of a button, these shades close up and there you are with a little bit of shade, but because they still are transparent, you're still getting that light that you need in the kitchen. Beautiful countertops, the furnishings are wonderful, as well as the appliances, but let me scoot around this side. Fridge, as I mentioned, it can come with you, as well as all the other furnishes. Siemens gas burner with one of these. Guys, we've seen this before, let me press that. Does it get any fancier than your extractor fan rising up out of your island? to do its job. Then again, a Siemens oven over here, plenty of undercounter storage. And this undercounter storage continues the design element of those brass handles, wood finishing, absolutely beautiful. Those brass handles continue over here. And then we've got a Smeg inbuilt coffee machine as well as a Smeg microwave. Some shelving, some other beautiful feature lights for you to divide and conquer when you're cooking. Another one of those black faucets and then a Blanco double sink which is inside this absolutely stunning veined marble countertop. I like that they've used two different materials because it does go with this whole house right here. This island matching that chandelier. We've got some display cabinets here and then that framing of glass leading out onto your patio area. This opens up outwards and you move on to your patio. Here we are within your kitchen. Huge, huge floating island. Stunning quartz countertops, plenty of undercounter storage. You've got your chef sink right here. These bulkhead ceilings almost feel, making this feel like a room of itself, which I really like. It feels like it's quartered off from the rest of the house, but it's not, fully open plan. Space for a fridge. You've got your built-in microwave, more storage over here. And just over here, behind this full length mirror, we've got a guest toilet. But let's move over here. We've got a gas countertop, Siemens, Siemens extractor with some glass on it, Siemens oven, and then behind me, we've got a pantry. So let me show you the pantry. Let's take a look at the outside area in front of this kitchen. And then I think it's time for us to go upstairs. Got two fully opening sliding windows giving you uninterrupted views of Lion's Head and then obviously your double sink so all your washing up is out of way. Under counter storage for all of your appliances, even more cupboard space should you need it. It really is kitted out to the max and oh so convenient in terms of its placement. Just like we whip these videos up for you every Monday and Friday, this is exactly where you're gonna be whipping up meals for all of your guests. Right in the center, a floating island with Caesar stone countertops. Below it, plenty of under counter storage and a staple in every single one of these homes that we do is you need to have your chef's sink. So here it is, front and center with a beautiful gleaming tap. But what I'd like to know in the comments is what is your favorite appliance in this home? For me, without a doubt, it has to be the built-in Siemens coffee maker right here, out of the way and in this beautiful dark wood cabinet space on the right for a double door fridge and on the left you've got your double oven affair you've got not only your microwave oven but also your conventional oven both of them being Siemens and talking stove we've got an induction stovetop cooker right here as well as gas for those times when power just isn't available as you can see the owner's got one of those beautiful whistling kettles on it so you know tea is always going to be a thing that you have access to below another oven right over there again Siemens Siemens extractor fan just above that and talking about above we've got a beautiful skylight letting in a lot of that natural light and again all of those stunning cream plantation shutters surrounding this kitchen which I think is absolutely amazing I love the dark wood in this kitchen and 
all of the cupboard space. It really is such a cool thing to know that storage is never a problem, but talking about storage, talking about washing up, finishing those dinner meals right here, we find ourselves in the pantry slash scullery area. So pantry is right here behind this door, space for all your dry goods. And this is a scullery double sink, which is so, so important when washing up. I think all of us know just how cool it is to have access to all of these sinks on my left. If you do need space for another fridge, if you are a big connoisseur, or should I say, if you are a big entertainer, this home has got that for you. But talking about fridges, we've got a walk-in fridge right over here, two fridges built in, and that's perfect for all of you wanting to chill your wines, chill your champagnes, it's right over there and it is built in. More long cupboards on the right hand side and those are again framed with all of this beautiful dark wood and then space for all of your appliances underneath but maybe washing up made you build up, build up a sweat, maybe you need some time to kick back, relax and enjoy the tranquility this home has to offer Well, through this beautiful glass door leads you out onto an outside area that is literally dominated by not only greenery and beautiful vines snaking up the wall, but also that fountain and the noise that fountain brings beautiful gray noise, letting you relax and take a look at the stunning flowers up there. It is a garden to die for. And then coming through this second transitional space, beautiful glass windows on the left-hand side looking out to that blue pool. We find ourselves in an incredibly well-designed and also well-equipped kitchen. Right over here, you can see the marble dominating the space for all of your center floating islands. We've got this lower piece over here that not only acts as prep space, but also a makeshift kitchen nook or dining room table within the kitchen. As you can see, a little space there for two chairs. You can have breakfast here. If you're looking for a quick one in the kitchen while you're whipping it up, I really like that thoughtful use of space. Over here, all Siemens appliances. We've got a teppanyaki grill. We've got two induction stoves as well as a gas burner. And then on this side, we've got a whole bunch of inbuilt appliances. Again, all of them Siemens, steamers, microwaves, inbuilt coffee machine. Mm. Love me some coffee. And then we've got inbuilt fridges as well, right over here. Stunning stainless steel running in between every single one of the cupboards. Let me open one up. Let me not use this one as an example because it doesn't have it, but all of these do. You open it up, really nice, but all the drawers slide out so you can get your stuff, do whatever you need to do when you're prepping and then just slide it back in. Really is the small touches that make it and the quality in this home is incredible. Obviously prep sink with your filtered water accessories. Now, before we move off to the rest of the house, let's talk about that kitchen once more. And let's talk specifically about the pantry area, which is located behind the kitchen. You've got a double sink glass hob. You've got a walk-in cold room, as well as an integrated washer dryer and waste disposal unit, as well as a dishwasher. Then, located behind the kitchen as well, you've got a rear exit, allowing you to get to the back of the house. We are in Centurion. This is the first home we've ever done in Centurion, and what a home to start off with. Guys, as you walk into this house, you'll immediately see this beautiful floral arrangement off to my right-hand side, and for all of you budding interior designers, stick with me because at the end of this episode, we're gonna be speaking to the lady responsible for the incredible decoration throughout this home. So entering the kitchen, there's two things that immediately take your attention. The first is this white laminated floating island and the second are these three beautiful chandeliers hanging above providing some soft romantic light within the kitchen but let's talk about some of the features in this kitchen the first is you'll see all the Siemens appliances we've got a four top gas burner Siemens as well as a touch screen induction stove set as well above us we've got the Siemens extractor and then we've got white quartz countertops as well as laminated gloss under counter storage and on the other side of the kitchen just past the single chef sink you'll find another Siemens stove this here is the oven and then the microwave you'll find just on the right hand side all of this is framed again with your gloss cupboards space for a fridge 
plenty of space to walk about because most of what you need but don't want in sight is hidden in the pantry around the corner. Now your pantry around the corner has a lot of under counter storage as well as a double sink with another slot there for you to store your sponges as well as any glasses you don't want to break. And that under counter storage comes in so handy because that is exactly where you're going to be putting your washing machine, your drying, your dishwasher as well as hiding any other stuff you wouldn't want on display for when your guests come. A frosted door separates that from the remainder of the kitchen. And as I mentioned, if we're talking catering, this is the home for you. We find ourselves now in the kitchen, incredibly beautiful, white floating island right here, chef sink. Now this chef sink, there's something special about it and it's not just how nice the faucets are. This chef sink's made out of a special material that will not scratch. When you're washing up, when you're prepping your meals, you never need to worry about damaging this and I love that. Now, if we move over here, you'll see there's a full range of melee appliances. We've got ovens, we've got microwaves, we've got a built-in coffee machine and you've sold me if you've got a built-in coffee machine. But there's more, right over here, in-built fridge, opening up and you've got access to everything you need. Obviously storage above and below and over here, an inbuilt deep freeze. Still, I mean a home like this, you can imagine the dinner parties you're having. So over here, you have a walk-in, very loud, oh, I know so cool fridge. How cool is that? Excuse the pun, but I do like having a walk-in fridge. You've got stunning lighting above this island. I love how it's been designed. Over here, you've got a melee induction cooktop, Plenty of storage over there, obviously. I mean, it's all soft clothes. The name of the game is silence when it comes to high-end finishing. And around this corner over here, that is where you'll find your pantry. Now, your pantry has got plenty of space for all of your undercounter appliances. It's got your double sink. It's got places for your fridge, as well as whatever other dry goods you want to store. So at least you can take that out of your main kitchen, but still have it right at your fingertips. 